All right, this is part three in building a blog with 11T, where we are going to be building the pages, categories, and posts. In part two, we built out the base file with the header, footer, and title and meta tags. So now we're ready to move forward with actually building out some pages, categories, and posts. First thing we can do is build out a about page and we'll create an about folder in the source folder with a index.html file inside of that. So we can copy our HTML and front matter for the about page here go to the project folder right click go to terminal you can just simply hit the up arrow to go to the last command in the terminal hit enter open our local host here by right clicking open and link and see where we left off I have my project open here in sublime and we're going to go to the source folder create a new folder called about and inside the about folder create a new file paste in our html and front matter save that as index.html and there we go we have our about page pages are pretty basic um, not a whole lot to them simply create the folder add the index file and put in your front matter for the base and title tag or we still have to add the title tag actually so that'll be next so scrolling down the blog post here next is the title tag so we already added the home page title tag and now we're just going to put an else if statement for the about page and we'll go to the title and meta layout file copy our code here inside our includes we have the title and meta and we're just going to add in our if else numjux uses l if and that's going to add in our as soon as we save it we should see it update in our browser here it's going to add in our title and meta so we're done with the about page now we'll move on to creating the blog page where we're going to create a blog folder inside the source folder put an index file inside of that we'll grab our index html code here or where the html will be built during build time the njk file extension will work here as well and head over to the source folder create a new folder call it blog and inside our blog folder, we'll put the index file, paste in our code.html. All right, let's see. Next, we're going to be creating the, basically like the loop for the categories. And this is where we'll sort all of our categories for us. So we're gonna call this categories and it's a layout file. So we'll copy the categories loop here. Go back to includes and create a new file. Paste in this and save it as category.njk. Before we create the post, we're gonna do a, a subcategory inside of that blog. But before we do that, we're gonna create this card here and this is gonna separate out all the, the summaries into a separate file for us so that it's a little easier for us to manage. And we're gonna be looping through the blog tag coming up as we get down to our posts. So next we're gonna be creating this postcard, called it postcard. It seemed like it was a pretty easy naming convention there and copy that. And this is another layout so we'll go inside of includes new file paste that save it as post dash card dot njk and this is going to start grabbing all the data for us to display our summaries we have the url so we can link to it the image the title and the slug so pretty straightforward but it gets into some of this more dynamic data which really keeps things, keeps the information easy to organize and pull different data from, kind of falling into that Jamstack sort of architecture. Okay, so moving on, we can start our subcategory. We're gonna call this topic one, just keep it simple. And we're gonna put it inside the blog folder and then we'll put our first post. We can name it first post inside of the topic one folder and copy all the post template here head back over to the blog folder create a new folder we'll call this topic 
one, and then inside topic one, create a new file, paste in the placeholder code here. It's got a just a heading and image, and it'll also bring in the summary image up here. This is the data for the summary, the postcard, and then also creates the alt for that image right there. This is where we're gonna have the date and the title for each post. So we'll save that as first post.html or you could use .md for markdown if you're going to be using markdown. Okay, so next we have to get to the JSON that we were just talking about. So this is going to tell the category loop what collection to get it to pull in. So here's the collection basically tags. 11T's collection is tags. And so we'll copy this. It's got everything we need. It's got our post layout. We haven't done the post layout yet, but we'll get to that. We did the post card layout. We have our, our layout we're going to be using. And then because we're always going to have an author We'll put that in there and this tag is for us to be able to pull it out as data for each page so we can add in our SEO, our title and meta topics and we can get our slug here and the name for the, the title for the postcard. So we'll go back and inside of our topics one folder we're going to create a new file, paste in this JSON, you know, save this as the name of the folder which is name topic one dot json and 11t will automatically take any json file inside these folders and apply that data as long as you name the json file the name of the folder it'll know to look in here and apply this data to all the posts so any data that we want that's going to be specific to each post we put in the front matter and any data that's going to be for all the posts in this folder we put in the json file so now we'll create the post layout file which will give us our it'll give us our title our author our date and our div structure and we'll pull the content in from each post so here i'll copy this go to the includes folder create new file paste that in save it we'll call it post.njk and now we can create our images assets folder and we're going to create an assets folder and put an image folder inside of there so we'll go to source new folder assets and then inside of assets create images and I have this placeholder image here we'll just throw that in there quick Let's see assets images and now we should be getting close actually I think I need to rename the folder structure for the file for the image file link here yep so I have blog instead of images we'll go back into the post and update that to images more conventional so they're in the card at the top and then in the post itself save that all right moving back down the blog we have next to do some updates to our 11 tjs we're going to be adding this luxon library and then it's going to give us the option to format the date we can add a filter here because this library is included in 11 t so we can format our date and get the structure we want by just using this function right here and then we're going to be adding a, a pass through function to get our assets folder to pass through on build. We'll just grab this and update the 11tjs file. Okay, so we're coming along here. We should be seeing our blog now. Um, here's the blog page. We have our post archiving and also our topic one link here for the subcategory we need to create a index page for that but that's pretty much the same process we've been going through so it's straightforward we can grab our blog index here and save that as index inside a topic one then come up here to front matter and follow the naming convention so we'll change that to topic one so that's expected as we use it throughout our if statements and categories and 
in the title and meta. So now that we have that, we can see it updated and it, it actually broke the loop. So what it did here was 11t is treating this index file as a post. And so we have a quick fix for that. If you go to 11t collections and they've added an exclude function in 11t, is this it? I think so. Yeah, so if we scroll down, this is all about the collections and there is an option here. I believe there's an option here somewhere. Let's see. Exclude right here, how to exclude content. So we can just add this key to the front matter of any of the index pages for the archives. Keep that from getting looped into a collection. So we'll add that to our topics one index and come back. And there we go. We're no longer breaking the, the page by looping in an empty file there. So there we go. We got our blog. Everything's in place and from here we can really start to scale it out, expand it, and follow this sort of development style for easily building it out into a, a structure that's easy to manage and actually fun to work with.